What's up, guys? It's Chris from uh, Chef Sports Cards. Um, besides doing the breaks that we do, we try to get breaks in every week. Um, I like to do some kind of reveal and open type of stuff, too. Um, I'm, some of you have seen I do. Uh, I get the collective card club every month. I usually do an unboxing video of that. And uh, also, I try to find some unusual stuff or stuff that maybe people aren't willing to try. And a big thing is in retail. Um, I think most of you, if, if you haven't noticed, there's more and more retail available out there. And believe me, I know there's the, the naysayers out there who say retail sucks. It's not worth anything. It's a waste of money, this and that. And look, I agree with them to a point. I, I, I want to get something for my money. You know, everybody does. Um, now, on the opposite side of that, to be honest with you, some of the big I've ever gotten, I've gotten out of retail. Um, last year, out of a Topps Chrome three value pack, we pulled a uh, a red uh, Bryce Harper number to five. Um, you know, back in fourteen, we pulled a, a green Chris Bryant um, rookie out of a retail pack. I mean, I've had lots of hits come out of retail packs and. Look, I've wasted a lot of money too, but the 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 odd part about it is it's becoming a bigger and bigger piece of the business. And I think everybody can see that, especially at Walmart and Target. And the reason being is there just aren't as many uh, local card shops out there anymore. It's tough business to be in. I'm lucky I have a card shop in my town. Um, but to be honest with you, he's more of a mem memorabilia guy. He carries cards, and in recent years, he's gotten better at it. But, you know, it's not a huge selection. He mostly deals in memorabilia online, that type of stuff. And I, I think it's the only way you can really make money in this business, you know, is if you deal in the higher end stuff. And I'm certainly, of course, not saying that, you know, the, the cards aren't higher end. They're, they're certainly expensive enough. But with, internet pricing where it is, it's very hard for LCSs to do well. You know, I, I try to support my local card shop, but I'll be honest with you, every time I'm in there and I see the prices on stuff and I think to myself, I can go home and go to blowout and get it for 20, 30 bucks cheaper. And, you know, where blowout is to me, I live in Philly, I'll have it the next day. It's not like I'm waiting, you know, a week to get something in. So I do buy from them on a somewhat regular basis, but like, when a product comes out like top series one, I'll go buy one jumbo box from them. And I've ordered like four cases online, you know, but that's cause I like the guy. I like him being around. I like to stop by there, so on and so forth, you know, but if most of you are like me and look, I'm a card junkie, that's all there is to it. It's an addictive hobby. Uh, I have a hard time walking into a place like a target or a Walmart and not walking out with something knowing full well in the back of my head that, most likely there's going to be nothing. And on the rare occasion when there is, it's it's that much sweeter. Now, the only positive to it again is the price. You know, usually you're paying $20 for a blaster. I mean, if you bought blasters, you know, five, six, seven, eight times, you're probably going to get an auto, get something halfway decent. Well, that might be about the equivalent of what you would pay if you're going to, you know, if you if you're going to buy a hobby box. Now, one of the beauties of some of these, and I, I'll give you a few examples, is some of the parallels that they put in uh, those Target exclusive, Walmart exclusive, so on and so forth, um, do become valuable because they are limited. Um, if anybody knows the, what is it, the uh, 14 update series Mookie Betts, you know, if you had a Target red border, you know, they're going over a thousand dollars in some cases, you know, I sold one for eight or 900 bucks, you know, and I believe me, it was just luck of the draw. I got one. I didn't even, you know, it was a rookie card at the time. I didn't really even think much of it. I stuck it in a box, but when time came around, they became good. I re remembered I had it in there. So, you know, if you're just in this to make money, um, yeah, retail's not great for you, but if you are a collector and really like to, 
uh, find some interesting stuff, so on and so forth. Retail can be a fun way to not spend as much money and have something readily available. And I think you also notice too, you're seeing more and more in these retails where they're going slightly more expensive, uh, you know, $30 and $40 boxes and guaranteeing hits and so on and so forth. Anyway, I'm rambling on, but so the company out there called the Fairfield Company, uh, who is doing all sorts of repack products. And this is another one of theirs. Now, if you watch videos, if you watch, if you're, you know, big into watching baseball cards and different people and so on and so forth, uh, Jabs, who's out of Pittsburgh, who's very, very famous and have, has a very big channel out there, he pulled, he does a lot of these. And, um, this is a new one. I never saw this one before myself. This I saw at Target today, and that's why I picked it up. I never saw these hot corner boxes, as they're called. They also had a football one and a hockey one, if you're into football or hockey. Uh, I you know, I forget what they were called. I think the hockey box is like a power play box, and football is like a touchdown box or something like that. Um, the one that Jabs usually buys, which I've tried a few times, you usually find them in like Walgreens or CVS. It's a bigger box. It has like a, a window on the front of it so you can kind of see into it. Usually there's like a hundred cards or so in there and there's a few packs. Uh, a lot of times the packs are from the eighties or whatever. Uh, you'll see ones that have more up to date packs in them. But I'll tell you what they have found. I don't know how Fairfield does things or where they get the cards from, but the reason Jabs has done a bunch of them is because it seems like Fairfield gets a lot of update stuff from tops uh, from various years. And they've pulled Mookie Betts rookie cards, um, many of them, actually. Uh, there have actually been 2011 Mike Trout rookies, um, which, you know, basically as of this year is considered the rookie card for Mike Trout. You know, um, you know, if you're lucky enough to pick up an eight dollar box and pull a card like that out of there, it's paid for itself 10, 20, 50 times over. Um, now look, does it happen a lot? No, of course not. It's like any box and they're, they're rare, but they are out there, you know? So um, for the eight bucks, you try one every once in a while, why not? What the hell, right? Now, like I said, I've never seen this one before. It's a hot corner box. It says it's got one hobby pack, two hits, four total packs in the box. They're 15 bucks. Now, do I expect anything? Are the hits, the hits are probably, I mean, there's probably 20 good hits in this entire run that are out there somewhere. Um, but for the most part, they're probably, you know, low level to guys who are still in the, you know, still in the minors or whatever, but for 15 bucks, it's a little, it's a little bit of fun. And I wanted to, I just grabbed them literally to do this video. So you guys could see what they were. Who knows if they're worth it. Maybe it's worth next time you're in Target to pick one up. So let's take a look and see what exactly we got. Maybe if there's anything, anything worth writing home. You'll see on the back here, repackaged for retail by the Fairfield Company. The reason why I show you this is almost all of these different repacks that are like this, repacks are many, many, many of them are by the Fairfield Company. They're just in different packaging. Um, I swear I've seen at least 10 or 15 different lines of Fairfield repack boxes and they range in price. Um, some of the nice parts of them, they do other ones at Target that just say baseball on them. They're in like a greenish or a bluish kind of box and it's all filled with packs. They do have a window. We can see in and see the packs. There's always a few 88s or, you know, 90, 91 score, you know, junk in there. But there are also some more updated packs too. You know, you see a lot of top series one, top series two from recent years, so on and so forth. So, again, I've pulled a hit here and there out of these things, uh, out of those like, you know, pack type of ones. Uh, these come with guaranteed hits, what they are, who knows. But um, look, I thought I'd just show you guys. So you can either you can either pique your interest and you get one or you can say, hey, what a waste of money. I'm not going to blow my 15 bucks on this. So uh, let's take a look inside and see what we got. All right, so uh, not horrible. So we got 18th top stadium club. 
Now, I, of course, I'm assuming they're all retail packs, you know, so uh, even if they, you get some halfway decent packs, the hits are probably going to be few and far between. But, you know, it, like I said, it's not, you know, 91 score or whatever, you know, uh, 13 pinnacle, 17 top series two and 18 top series two. I'm actually really surprised. I was expecting there to be some old uh, junk in here. So and then these these are the guaranteed hits, it looks like. Um, Oh, and one is a hobby pack, it says. So let's see. We are guaranteed one to be a hobby pack. Oh, this. so the pinnacle is a hobby pack. So these three are retail. This one's a hobby. And then we get two hits. So let's see what we've got here. Uh, Jason Bay, authentic game used uniform for uh, the Pirates. Uh, the guy I was talking about earlier, Jabs, he's a he's a big Pirates fan. This I might actually just send this to him. Uh, this is from 2008 Tops Series 2. Um, so not terrible. There's a little ding in the front, but they are uh, sleeved. Let's see if that ding is in the card, too. Just a curiosity. No, it's just in the sleeve. So. Not too bad. And the other one we got here is who is this? Sharian Martis. I don't know who that is. Washington Nationals pitcher. Um, it's not an on-card autograph. It says rookie card upper deck. And this is from 2009. Upper deck something. Not sure. I'm sure this guy's probably long gone. Uh who knows if he ever even played or not, but you know, so there's your two hits. Um, I guess our, uh, here, we'll, uh, it is an auto for now until we open the next box. We'll put him up there. All right. So then we have our three packs. And again, I, like I said, I'm surprised there isn't something old in here, but we'll keep the hobby pack for last. Let's see what we got. Look, retail packs do have hits sometimes, so you certainly can get lucky in these. But like I said, for the $14.99 or whatever it was, it's not bad and a little bit fun opening. Uh, so we got J.P. Crawford rookie. And this is from this year. This is uh, 18. Uh, John Smoltz. Uh, Joe Maurer. I wonder if that's a base or if it's uh, – it's, it could be um, – a short print possibly just by what he's wearing and stuff. I have a feeling it might be. So uh, I could be wrong too. Who knows? I'll check that out. Uh, Nuri Mella for, and Victor Arano for the Phillies rookie. All right. So this is here. Let's do a 17 for a 17 series two. Franco, Thornburg, Springer, Victor Martinez, some Matt Olson rookie. I think these are like Father's Day or something like that. I don't know what I forget what they are exactly. Uh, Machado, uh, that's Machado Gold right there. So it is numbered. Let's see, sixteen ninety six of twenty seventeen. So it's not bad. Manny Machado gold. All right. And then Altuve Independence Day. These were just, these were inserts. So Margin, Robbie Ray, and Joe Ross. All right. And then we're doing 18 Series 2. All uh, Jason Alcantara, rookie, Mark Melanson, uh, Chapman, Selman. There's a long ball legends, uh, Goldschmidt insert. Uh, Felix Hernandez making legend in the making. And Tomas, Denard Span, Nelson. Barrios and Jordan Montgomery. Okay, so those are our three retail packs. And here is our hobby pack. Uh, Lord knows what is in is this 2013 Pinnacle. I know I've opened some of this before, but it's been a long time. 
uh, Upton, David Price, Matt Moore. Well, looks like we got an autograph. <laughs> Rob Brantley. Let's see uh, if I can pick it up. Rob Brantley from Miami. I don't know that I know Rob Brantley. The rookie auto from 2013. All right. And Bo Jackson, Team Pinnacle. Uh, this is some kind of insert, I think, uh, with Bryce Harper on the back. Um, Cutchin, uh, Justin Grimm, and there's a Machado rookie card. So that's not bad. So uh, I can't complain about the first box. We're 15 bucks. It's, uh, uh, I don't know, like I said, if uh, Rob Brantley's around anymore, but. Uh, produced an auto, maybe a short print, and we got our other hits here. So, so let's see what we got out of this second one. Again, same deal. Uh, four total packs, one hobby, two hits. Um, could be just the same exact ones. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So first hit, John McCurdy. Oh my God. Uh, Upper Deck Future Gems, John McCurdy. Wow. I like, I can't even see the year on that. that give me one second. Let me uh, see if I can find the year on there. Where is my... I have a... Uh, Have a magnifying glass for some of these super small ones. 2002 upper deck. Um, John McCurdy. So I don't know. Uh, never, never heard of him. But hey, if anybody's a big John McCurdy fan out there, drop me a line. I'll be happy to send it to you. <laughs> so there's our relic. It looks like it comes maybe relic in an autograph. And then, wow. <laughs> Uh, that's actually a surprise, no matter whether the guy's good or not. Robinson Torinos, I actually have heard of him. First Bowman Chrome card. Wow, that's a surprise. Uh, On-card autograph. This is from, let me see if I can see the year again. I'll tell you what, these, these boxes are surprising me more than usual today. 2010. Um, I know he played a little bit. I have no idea where he is now. He may be well out of baseball, but we'll look him up. But even just to get a first Bowman is uh, kind of shocking. Um, Triple Crown Stats, Florida State League. You signed with the Cubs as a free agent in 2000. Interesting. Anyway, so there's there's our auto. Um, I've actually heard of this guy, and it's a Bowman first, so we'll put him up there. Okay, so then our packs, again, looks like the same ones, maybe. Stadium Club, Pinnacle Hobby. Yep, 17 and 18, so same four packs, uh, which, you know, like I said, I'm not, not upset with these four packs. Let's see, see if we got anything. So this is 17 Series 2. Uh, all right, Cody Allen, and Kinsler, Mike Fears, uh, Braden Drury, Russell Martin, so Navon Rodriguez All Star, uh, 30th anniversary, uh, Corey Seeger. Um, I think these were like inserts, like, uh, um, Retail inserts for certain stores, like uh, maybe Target only or something along those lines. Uh, Hunter Renfro, rookie. Chris Iannetta. And Carlos Martinez. Okay, so nothing really out of there. All right. Series 2. 18 Series 2. I'm actually really surprised 18 Series 2 is in here. They must have gotten a good deal on getting these. Uh, all right. Uh, Rivera, 
There's the Sean Newcomb, Future Stars. Alex at Mejia. Uh, Robert Selman. Alex Gordon. The Lindor. Um, over these uh, throwback uh, series. So Cody Bellinger, again, this is one of those, I think this was like a Target exclusive, like these Cody Bellinger inserts. All right, Adam Duvall, Joey Rickard, Seth Lugo, DeGrom, and Perez. Check out our stadium club. We got on the back here. Yeah, there's the retail uh, security thing. So, you know, it's a retail pack. Uh, Yonder Alonzo. Oh, Anthony Banda. Anthony Banda was in everything last year. That's for sure. Rookie. Joe Maurer. Okay, maybe it's not a short print because there's a scene Joe Maurer. Uh, oh, there you go. And a horror rookie. It's a nice one. And Mike Trout. Mike Trout card's always good. You complain about a Mike Trout. But the end heart rookie is nice. Okay, and then our last pack is our pinnacle hobby pack again. Maybe we'll have some luck. First one we got an auto and a Machado rookie card out of. So certainly uh, not bad there. So we got Pena, Matt Cain, Alan Craig. Under Alonzo, uh, Team Pinnacle. These are these double-sided cards with Pulhos and Frank Thomas, Matt Kemp, Chris Sale, and a Jerickson Pro Far rookie card. All right, so uh, not as great with that one as the first box, but hey, like any box, you're going to open. Uh, so it's kind of luck of the draw. Uh, let's see. We'll go over any notable things we got out of here. Uh, we did get that and the heart rookie, uh, which is a nice one. Um, we got a couple of Machados. So we got a Machado uh, to 2017. And we got a Machado rookie card. Hold on to those. Uh, we did get an auto, Rob Brantley. Uh, from Miami. This was Pinnacle, 2013 Pinnacle. To look up uh, old Rob and see what he's doing these days. Uh, I mean, I know the name, but I'm not sure if uh, uh, he's still around or not. And then um, our hits that we actually that we got in a Roberts uh, Robinson Torinos. This is a Bowman first autograph, which I find to be amazing. Um, Jason Bay, even if the guy's not still playing, it's just the first Bowman auto. I was surprised. John McCurdy, who I have no idea who that is. Jason Bay, I know, of course. And then, uh, this was out of Upper Deck, uh, Sharon Martis. So, look, uh, at the price of baseball cards these days, this was $30 uh, to do this. I mean, am I looking for a return on value? Not really. I mean, yeah, if that's what you're into, and if you're only into baseball cards for selling, I get it. Um, I do sell. I sell a lot, obviously. Uh, it's the only way I could afford to do it. But I do collect, too. So for $30, I think this is not bad at all. And who knows? Not all boxes are going to be like this. Some are going to be better. Um, but, you know, if you're out of Target or Walmart, you see one of these, and you usually turn your nose up at them, maybe, maybe give them a shot. At worst, it's 15 bucks worth of fun you know um and you might pull something that you know you're looking for or might actually have some value to them so i hope you guys like the video i am going to keep posting more videos like this you know just kind of odd odd or different um you know different types of stuff that's out there uh we'll be back breaking next week uh so keep an eye out on ebay for our breaks coming up and i hope to see you guys soon take care Bye bye